This is six time IFBB Bikini Pro Champion, Brina Martinez, and I take ZMA5 to make sure that I get the zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6 needed to keep my immune system healthy and snack strong. Marcos Viegas uh, here with uh, Tank Davis in, in San Antonio, Texas. Tank, man, um, your first experience uh, being in this new type of environment, how has this week been for you uh, mentally? And is it any different from uh, uh, in the past in terms of what you do personally before a fight? Uh, I don't think it's, it's any different. You know, uh, just, you know, uh, man, probably uh, Saturday night, but as far as, you know, leading up to the fight, it's nothing really different. You know, I, I've been doing it for some time now, so I'm definitely aware of what's, what's going on. I'm definitely, uh, I, I want to say, uh, before lead me up, uh, lead me to, you know, um, you know, be able to, you know, do this, you know, without being, you know, um, out my lead and things like that. So um, I'm definitely ready and prepared and come Saturday night, it will show. You got to be tired of the weight questions, huh? Like uh, yes. every yes. time someone speaks to you, it's always about the weight. Like, are you getting like fed up with all the weight questions and all that? I mean, it's just something, you know, uh, I made a mistake and, you know, that's what come with it. You know, so it's really not, I'm not really upset with it, but uh, that's something I got to deal with, you know, but I just got to show them, you know, prove them wrong. And that's what, you know, I'm, uh, that's when my strength come in at, as far as, you know, proving people wrong. Uh, that's why, you know, I do my best with my back against the wall. So uh, I think that, you know, uh, it, it's great for me. Now, I've uh, been seeing, you know, on social media, you, you look so motivated, man. Like, so motivated compared to everything. So, like, when people bring up the weight, I'm like, dude, look at, like, what he's doing on social media and, and the pictures. Like, you have abs and all that. I'm like, dude's going to make weight. Like, he looks highly, highly motivated for this. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely motivated, you know, just the whole, I, I think, more so, I'm more, I'm more, I'm more so, I'm more so, I want to say hungry. I want to say um, appreciative as far as the position I'm in, but as far as like fighting, I feel as though that uh, I'm just more hungry. You know, I feel that uh, I left a lot on the plate. You know, um, for people to say my last fight, so it just to uh, redeem myself, just to show them that I'm number one that um, in the sport. You know, so uh, this, this fight, I think that you know after this fight, that people will say that yeah, he, he's number one. So. That's basically what I'm, uh, what my mindset on for this fight. You know that last fight. You know, if, if someone were to watch the fights before your last fight and then watch this last fight, they'd be like, "That doesn't look like Tank. Yeah. That's that's not Tank." Does that last fight, the performance you have, does it bother you? Is it like a thorn on your side to, to show like, no, like I'm a lot better than that? Yeah, that that fight definitely showed. Uh, even like even going home and when I when I when when I was hearing it, you know how. Uh, when you fighting, you really don't. It's really like it's not clicking. But when, when outside the ring, you ask like you ask a couple people that 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 you know that care for you and, and things like that and want lie with a uh, lot to you, and and they give you an okay answer, then you know that it's not really. That's really not. I knew for sure that wasn't me. So it's really about you know me um, manning up and uh, stepping up to the plate. You know that's why. I, you know, uh, I made a decision with me and my team to, to, uh, to come to uh, the Vegas and train because I know that you know um, it, it, the best training is, is in Vegas. The best boxing is in Vegas. You have multiple outlook uh, 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 looks on you know different um, fighters and things like that. And you know, um, there's a lot of fighters that come through um, Mayweather gym. You know, so I was definitely uh, happy and grateful to be a part of that. And, um, Come Saturday night, man. I'm just here to do what I do best, and that's uh, put on a great performance and become that, you know, that star that I am. I think Leo and the team are hoping that at some point you'll get tired in the fight because of his volume. <laughs> Leonard's laughing because I think he's alluding to how great in shape you are. But when you hear that from Leo, you know, he did an interview with me that he said, you know, I'm going to drown him with my volume. At some point, he's not going to be able to keep up. What goes on through your mind when you hear that from Leo and the team? Uh, they just gotta live up to that game plan. You know, I'm, I'm definitely in shape. Uh, 
out front, man. Whatever, whatever decision they think they're gonna, you know, take. It's all. It's it's easy to said than done. You know, I think that his father or um, or, or Leo is not crazy. But they they know they're gonna try to box. They try to say that they they want to box and wait till I get tired and then try to drown me on the late rounds, but. I mean, it, you can't you can't hit somebody that's not there. You know, they forget that I have boxing skills. Uh, I, I am a boxer puncher instead of just a puncher. And Saturday night is gonna show. What has because uh, I know he's helped you training a lot. What has Floyd told you about how he sees the fight unfolding? Does he feel that you'll knock out Leo? Um, does he feel that you'll box it and show a different side of you? What has he told you? Um, I don't think he he never told me like how he felt like I mean, far no, far as like a knockout or anything like that. He just told me to just go in there and do my best. And, you know, uh, as far as, you know, just go out there and, you know, and give my all, train good, you know, and, and, and don't leave nothing on the table, you know. So, uh, as far as just having him, you know, um, in my corner and, and camp with me, it felt amazing, you know. Um, I'm grateful to have him, you know. Uh, and he, he knows that, the team knows that. And, um, we ready, man. We, we just basically wait, waiting for you know Saturday night to you know uh, put on that great performance and become that star. You know? Will he be in your corner? Uh, he if, if he ain't in the corner, he's gonna be somewhere in there for sure. <laughs> no for he, he, he's gonna find his way for sure. You know, I, I know uh, some fighters when they go into a fight, they just want to win. Others want to make it a point to get a knockout. Given this is your first pay-per-view fight, I know it sounds cliche, and I know fighters always say like, well, we train for 12 rounds, but if a knockout comes, it comes. With this fight, do you honestly foresee a knockout, and are you gunning for a knockout because it's such a big stage and it's your pay-per-view debut? I'm definitely not looking for a knockout because I know, you know, if you're looking for a knockout, you mind, and knowing Santa Cruz, you might as well, you, 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 might, you might try to knock him out, and you know, you can't get him, and, you know, and, and, and we want him getting, you know, stopped or for for his punch value. So I, I don't think I'm looking for. I, I'm not looking for a knockout, and I'm just ready to put on a great performance and do great. Um, Tank on, on the last thing. Um, Lomachenko was a guy that all of us boxing fans wanted to see you and him fight. Now with uh, his loss against Teofimo, you know who knows if that fight ever happens. What do you make of what he showed in that fight? And I know a lot of people have said that they felt that he was a little overrated, and they sh that fight to them showed that he was a little bit overrated in their opinion. Um, that was that was the that was the media to be honest. That was the media making him feel like he was a, he was a god or anything like that. And it, it's it's not up to me, you know, because I'm a fighter, you know. So I can't I can't I can't you know see nothing. Uh, say well, he should he should he should fight this guy or he should fight this guy. But um, it showed, you know, I don't have to say nothing. It showed that, you know, whatever um, they was putting him on the pedestal as he was better than Floyd. They was putting him on the pedestal like he was some like he was somebody that can't be touched. And, you know, he, he sh not only did he got touched this fight, he got touched. Uh, <laughs> Uh, two fights before this, so it was like it was like in a pattern. So, I mean, he just got to go back to the drawing board, and, you know. Um, I guess come up with a game plan and go a different route. I guess he, he's a way smarter fighter, you know. So, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't I don't know if about nobody else's career. My career <laughs> going great. Um, I'm going great. I'm feeling good, and I, I can't wait to fight uh, Saturday night. Take, they're, they're calling me to cut the, uh, the interview off. Hey, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think you figured out what belt you're, you're, you're fighting for based on what you said on Twitter. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.